GoodNotes is an amazing tool packed with so many different features and whether you're just getting started or you consider yourself more of a pro, it's possible that you've missed some of them. So today I want to walk you through some of my favorite features and how I use them most often. So let's jump into my screen together. So I want to start here with one of my favorite new modes in GoodNotes and that's support of the dark mode on your iPad. So to turn this on, just swipe down at the very top of your iPad to open your controls and then tap and hold on your brightness. And right there under this control panel, you can turn on dark mode. And you can see now in good notes, the entire window turns darker. It just feels a lot easier on your eyes when you're working. So you can use any of the page templates just like normal. Or I also have a dark mode notebook in my shop. And in this notebook, all of the pages have dark backgrounds. You can see how that's easier on your eyes. It fits into the dark mode better than the bright white pages. So you can use a template like this and you can see I have different page types on there. Um, or even if you're using blank white pages, it's still nice for the controls to be a little darker. And again, I usually turn on dark mode when I'm working at night. While we're still in dark mode here, I want to show you another feature that I use in a few different ways. So when you just have a pen and you're writing out text and say I'm writing here notes in black and after I finish, I realize it's actually really hard to see this on the page. It's really not popping out against the dark background. I can just grab my lasso tool, make sure it's going to pick up the handwriting here, circle it, tap and hold, and tap color. Now that allows me to choose any new color to recolor this text. This is great obviously when you're writing something and you just want to make it a little more decorative, make it stand out, or sometimes I'll even use this within something like a to-do list to make something stand out as high priority, gray others out after I complete them. So there's a few different ways that I use this tool. And I just think it's a great one to be aware of and have in your back pocket. So I'm back here in one of my standard notebooks and another feature that makes it really simple for me while I'm handwriting is the tap to undo feature. So I typically just zoom in on the page like this to add in my handwriting and as I'm writing, if I make a mistake, I can just double tap with two fingers on the screen and it undoes those changes for me and just keep double tapping to undo. And you can also undo with the undo button up in the menu, but it's just a lot more streamlined while you're working to do the double tap on the screen. So let's say I'm in here and I decided that instead of having these labels handwritten, I actually want to have them as type text. So I lasso to select and tap convert and that'll actually bring up a conversion of the text. Now I've had pretty good luck with this recognizing my handwriting and the great thing is you have a lot of options available to send it share it. I'm just going to copy it here, tap and paste, and there I have the text. And from here I could, you know, change the style of the text, change the font, and place the text wherever I want it on the page. So I found some really great ways to use this in GoodNotes and I'll show you some of them here in a minute, um, but I think it's a great feature to be aware of. I personally like to just 
handwrite my titles in, so I'll go ahead and delete this. When you're trying to work between another app and GoodNotes, split screen is so helpful. Just drag up from the bottom of your screen and make sure the app you want to use is in your dock. Now I'm going to show you what you can do with Google Calendar today. You can see you just touch the icon, drag it out, and drag it to the side and it opens in split screen. And what this allows you to do is use both Google Calendar and GoodNotes side by side. That's really helpful because you don't have to switch between windows. So when you're trying to use the two apps together just from a multitasking perspective, it's really helpful. So here's an example of how you might use that. Let's say on my to-do list, I have a task that I actually want to put a block on my calendar so that I don't forget it. Now, using that text conversion that I showed you in the last step, I can just use the lasso tool to grab the part of the text that I want to add to my calendar. I copy it, and then I jump over into my calendar view, add a new event, and paste it right there. And this text conversion between the app is super helpful. Um, I could also toggle and grab the second portion of the text if I wanted to add that to the description. And it would also translate that into text as well. So you just need to make sure you're using a productivity app that supports handwriting to text conversion, but you can see how great this is to create those connections between this more analog experience of the digital planner where we're handwriting things and be able to put it into something like a productivity app like Google Calendar that's going to give you reminders. Having the split screen mode like that makes it really streamlined and easy to do that between the two apps. So drag over to close it. And I could have done this with a number of different productivity apps. I sometimes do this with Asana or with Trello. So really just look and make sure that the apps that you want to use support that handwriting to text conversion. And like I showed you, circling, lassoing the text, copying and pasting it into the field of the productivity app usually works best for me. You can also use split screen directly within GoodNotes. So let's say I wanna organize some folders. I can open the folders in split screen by tapping and dragging and it opens in split screen just like we saw with the app. Now we can always adjust the size of each screen by tapping, holding, and dragging this vertical bar in the middle of the screens. So let's say that I've been keeping monthly journals and I want to move a journal into my completed journals folder. Well, I could tap on the document itself and move it and then search for the location. But you can see that takes a lot of clicks and steps. Now instead, since I have this open in split screen mode, I have my journals folder open. Now I have my completed journals in the other screen and you can actually drag content between screens. It's fully functional that way. And you can see I just dragged my merch journal into the completed folder and that's it. Those changes are done. So this is really handy if you're looking to organize a large number of documents. I close out a split screen and that's it. And you can see the changes went through to the folders. So when you're managing a large number of notebooks, this is super helpful. Speaking of notebooks, I can open any notebook, document, or planner that I have loaded within GoodNotes in split screen as well. Same thing, just tap drag and drop and you can see that I can have these two notebooks open 
side by side and each of these windows really functions on its own so make sure to pay attention to your controls on either side you'll have to adjust to editing mode in each of the windows but what's really nice is you can copy and paste and drag things between these two windows and so it makes it really easy to work between multiple documents And another way you can open documents in split screen is directly from the tabs, just by tapping this little icon on the right of the tabs and selecting open in new window. That will do the same thing and open your two documents in that split screen mode. So I'm just going to close this out here and go back to my single document view. And I wanted to show you one last way that you might use split screen and that's to essentially create facing pages by opening your individual pages in a single document in split screen mode. So just tap on your thumbnail icon in the top left and just grab any page, hit that tiny arrow underneath it and select open in new window. And now these are two pages within the same document that I now have open in the split screen mode. So this can be really great for studying and note taking to refer back to something that's earlier in the document. And you can see still I'm able to flip through each page independently and navigate um, just like they're open in completely separate screens. So that is it. I hope you picked up some really helpful tips that will make using GoodNotes even easier for you. And honestly, I've really just scratched the surface in this video. There are so many other useful things you can do with GoodNotes. I love sharing planning inspiration as well. So if you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll subscribe so you can see more of them in the future. Thanks and happy planning.